Hello everyone and welcome to the Road to Worlds Regional Rundown. I'm your host Daniel Madison and we are here for week 7 of the Star Trek CCG Regional Championship season for 2015. So let's recap the results of the regional events that took place this past weekend in week 6 and then we will look ahead to the events this weekend. So uh, looking back at week 6 that was uh, May 2nd and 3rd. We start with a second edition tournament, that uh, a regional championship that happened in Denmark, uh, in the Omarion Nebula region. Uh, eight players turned out for this event, and this was a uh, this was a weekend full of championship events. They had Danish nationals the next day, and we'll be we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but Tui, uh, Tui regional, eight players showed up, and the winner. Piloting a Deep Space Nine deck was Soren Ram Nielsen. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because I usually do. Uh, Soren, as I said, was playing DS9. He went five and zero, sweeping his competition. He um, full wins in all of his games except the final game was a was a modified win. Uh, Soren will uh, take home a. And earned by for European Continentals for this year. This is Soren's fourth uh, 2E regional win in CC era history. Uh, Soren is also the biggest ratings gain uh, of the event, going up a whopping 98 ratings points with this win. Uh, coming in second place with a Ferengi deck was Jacob Madsen, and uh, third place with Romulans, Tobias Rousman. We'll be speaking a little bit more about Tobias in a moment. Sure. Um, the uh, two-e event scheduled in Maryland was canceled. Don't know if that's going to get rescheduled, but uh, for now it's just showing canceled, so we're going to skip past that and move on to South Dakota, where a trio of events took place. All three, 1e, 2e, and Tribbles, uh, all happening in South Dakota in the Andoria region. Uh, we're going to start with first edition. Six players for this event. The winner, Kevin Yeager. Kevin was playing Dominion in 1E. Uh, came in, uh, uh, ended up going 3-0, and won all of his rounds. Uh, Kevin earns the buy for 1E for Continentals. This is Kevin's third 1E regional win. He's also the 2014 North American Continental Champion. Coming in second place was the TD, Barry Winshittle, uh, playing a Herogen deck, and he also had the biggest ratings gain of the event with a 51-point gain. Uh, Mark Muston came in third place, piloting the Kazons. Uh, over on the 2E, six players for that as well, uh, and another win for Kevin Yeager. Kevin was running TNG. Uh... Picks up the buy for that uh, event as well. Uh, this is Kevin's 11th 2E regional win. Uh, Barry Winshittle, again, second place. Uh, he was running Dominion. Uh, and third place is Mark Muston. Uh, so the same uh, top three in, in both events. Mark was playing Cleons, uh, and he had the biggest ratings gain of the event with a 28 point gain. Uh, Tribbles. Uh, had seven players, and the winner of that event was Zlatan Terzik. Uh, so he will pick up the head start for Continentals. Uh, that just leaves one event left, and that was Danish Nationals, uh, the second edition standard event in Aarhus, Denmark, on May 3rd. Uh, eight players, once again, uh, the day after... The 2E Regional, uh, played in Danish Nationals. Uh, eight players, five rounds. The winner was Tobias Rausman. Tobias was running a Cardassian deck. Uh, and uh, he went 4-1, and one, losing only to Soren Ram Nielsen in the final round. Uh, Soren ended up coming in second place with a Ferengi deck. And third place was Morton Sandberg, who was also playing Ferengi. Uh, Tobias, with his national win, picks up a bye for European Continentals. Uh, 
with national events, a bye is awarded to the top two players. And uh, in second place, Soren Rem Nielsen already has one from winning the regional the day before. So the second bye is handed down to third place, and that's Morton Sandberg. Uh, so congratulations to all of them. Uh, the biggest ratings gain of the event actually went to Bjarke Rasmussen uh, in fifth place with a third, excuse me, with a 35 point gain. Uh, Tobias is certainly no stranger to uh, winning championship gold. Uh, Tobias was the 2010 world champion for 2E. Uh, he won European Continentals in 2013 and 2014. He's won German Nationals five times. Uh, and this was his third consecutive Danish national title, and he has 10 2E regional wins. That is an impressive Trek CC career. Uh, I, I would say if there's ever a, uh, a continuing committee Hall of Fame established, then, uh, then, then, then this guy is uh, uh, probably a, would probably be an early favorite. Continuing Committee Hall of Fame. It's actually not a bad idea. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to tuck that away. All right, moving on. Uh, that was it for week six events. We move on to week seven. That is this weekend. Just uh, just a couple of events to talk about. There are three uh, scheduled for this Saturday, May the 9th. The first one is in Leeds, United Kingdom, in the Omarion Nebula. This is a first edition event. Tournament director is Patty Tai. Uh, only four players pre-registered so far. Uh, hopefully it'll pick up a couple more, uh, including one new player on there, so uh, that's always uh, a good thing. Um, the highest rated of the pre-registered players is Neil Matthew, uh, who's always playing something uh, interesting, exciting, and scary good. So uh, should be uh, should be an interesting and tough event. Uh, We've also got second edition standard happening in Dessau. Dessau? I don't know. Germany. Uh, this is the Vandros 4 region. The tournament director for this one is Oliver Thust. Uh, so far, six players are registered for this one, uh, including Oliver himself, who is the highest rated uh, going into this with an 1800 rating. Also, two other players here over 1700 Sebastian Kirstein and Sasha Kiefer. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of high caliber players uh, going to be at this event. So that'll be a tough one. Uh, and finally, this one is not showing up on the regional schedule, but it is in the tournament system. There is a regional in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, second edition standard event. This is the Kronos region. Tournament director for this one is Joshua Sprung. Uh, five players so far pre-registered. Um, highest rated of which is Altoid. Uh, all right, those are all of the regional events for this weekend. Good luck to everyone participating. Congratulations to all those uh, that that won. Um, don't forget, I'm going to plug this week uh, that uh, Series 2 of Return to Farpoint is coming in July. Uh, if you played in any of the Return to Farpoint online events last year, uh, had a lot of fun with those. It was a series of online tournaments. Uh, it was 11, uh, 11? Yeah, 11 tournaments that took place over the course of a year, uh, starting with a 2E premiere only event and then uh, adding in adding in sets a little at a time until uh, you got to the end and it was uh, a traditional format or yeah with uh, all uh, 14 decipher era um, it was a, a fun series of events uh, we have some special prizes put together that have not been sent out yet but uh, getting ready to do to do that uh, soon uh, a little special a little special personal not personalized um, Special custom, uh, custom, custom image. Let's let's leave it at that. Um, I want kind of want to surprise you guys. If you if you've played in one of these events, um, you'll be getting uh, a little something in the next couple of weeks. Um, but uh, you know the far point events are the uh, achievements for these are now in the system. So if you played in any, if you won any, you should have achievements for these. Um, I think there's also like a five play, maybe a ten play. I'm not sure about that. 
uh, so for playing in multiples. But if you miss these achievements, if you want to grab them, if you want to play in another series of these events, we are starting this back up in July. Uh, so be on the lookout for uh, a schedule very soon of, of events that will be part of this series. Uh, and uh, if you want to assist with um, being a TD for any of these uh, online events, then uh, send me a PM at OKCoyote. Okay um, all right, that is, I think, going to do it for this week. Uh, so see you next week right back here on the Regional Rundown. Uh, don't forget to check out Lucas Thompson. That's Edge of Hearing. Uh, check out his Road to Worlds article series where he looks at top, uh, where he looks at top 1E and 2E decks that are winning regionals. It's a great series. Uh, so that's it. I'm Daniel Madison, ending transmission.